Okay, I'm going to upload this as a standalone video to explain which motor mount is which on a 99 Mercury Villager or Quest over a range of like six years. They'll be the same. Uh, because when they show the pictures, they don't say what they are and everybody's confused about it or which ones to do first. Okay, let's do the passenger side first. And I'll also add other notes because why not? Okay, passenger side. This is the front passenger side. That's the one that goes bad all the time. Uh, the reason is because people see it. It's easily accessible. They replace it. It bears all the weight and then goes bad immediately. That's the front passenger side. That tall one is the rear passenger side. That's the one with the center bolt that's hard to see up in there. It is there. It's accessible. It's just that if it's dark, you can't see it. Okay. That's the rear passenger. This is the front drivers, also called the transmission uh, motor mount. This is by far the easiest to do. A beginner, a child could do it in 15 minutes. It's at the front of the engine, behind the radiator. Uh, the nuts are all totally exposed. Uh, this is the easiest one. I recommend doing this one first. Because, you know, get your confidence up if you're new to uh, motor mounts. Okay, front driver's motor mount, also called transmission motor mount. Okay, now this one uh, is the rear driver motor mount. Now this requires some comment because th those welded on bolts sticking out, those go into a flange that has the, the nuts fit on and it tightens to a flange. When you remove it, the aluminum flange, you'll see it underneath there, the aluminum flange bracket has four bolts that bolt to the engine. Okay, to take it out and put it in, you have to loosen and take out all the nuts and bolts, including the top one through the rubber, the center one that goes through the rubber, Okay, so when, when you remove those, uh, the bolts from the, the bracket and plus the motor mount and plus the top center one, all of those fall down onto your face on the spot. Uh, to put it back in, you, you stick the motor mount up in there. You know, it, it wiggles in between the flange where it fits, you know, the rubber part where it fits. You, you fit it up in there loose. And then you put the uh, aluminum bracket on next. You, you put that up in there and wiggle it on over those screws. That's how it has to come off. That's how it has to go in. You cannot loosen the bracket and then pull it down attached to the, uh, with the motor mount still attached to it because it won't fit. They both have to come out separate and go in separate. This one is the least likely one to be bad. My motor mounts were terrible, but this one came out pristine and it had it was not a replacement. I've owned the van for years. You can look up in there with a light and see that rubber. You may not think you can, but you can. Look up in there. The odds are good. This hardest one, the odds are good you don't need to replace that one. Uh, let's see. Okay, that that does it for this one.